hi 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 hello friends welcome to my youtube channel thanks for your views subscriptions and the likes and sharing comments thank you now we will discuss the questions from sscg 2012 electrical solutions part 3 the question here is a coil with a certain number of turns has a specific time constant if the number of turns is doubled its time constant will be so here the, they are specifying the turns means it's a inductance. So tau is nothing but L by R is a basic formula here. And another basic formula here is inductance is proportional to N square. Okay. And resistance is proportional to L. These are the basic formulas that we are going to use here. So as number of turns increases means n increases here so how much the increase it's a double so n2 is nothing but 2 into n1 and similarly so r2 is nothing but 2 l1 here so i have written directly so l2 is nothing but 2 into l1 here so these are the things now so t2 is equal to l2 divided by r2 time constant so lt is how much it is n square times that means l2 is nothing but 4 times that of l1 that is 4 times that of l1 how we got this one if we substitute n2 is nothing but 2 n1 so 4 into n1 square n1 square is nothing but l1 here i am writing directly here divided by r2 is how much 2 into so resistance r2 is nothing but we can write 2 into r1 so 2 into r1 that's nothing but 2 into l1 by r1 is nothing but time constant t1 so t2 is 2 into t1 that is time constant is getting doubled if you are increasing the number of turns so answer is 11th one a the next question here is the iron losses per unit frequency in a ferromagnetic core when plotted against frequency is a the iron losses in a ferromagnetic core is given as w e into f square plus wh into f so these are nothing but this is nothing but eddy current losses and this one is hysteresis losses when if you make a common frequency here that is wr by f here this is nothing but so w h plus w e into f so if you draw the curve between the ratio of unit frequency the iron losses per unit frequency is nothing but if you draw the curve here so here we have frequency term and here so history x losses is a constant one so w h and w e into f as the frequency increases these are the iron losses here as the frequency increases this term increases here that means like this so this is w e into f that means a straight line with a positive slope the next question here is the mutual inductance between two closely coupled coils is one henry if the number of turns of one coil is decreased to half and those of other is doubled the new value of mutual inductance will be the formula that we are going to use here is k is equal to m divided by square root of l1 l2 is the first formula and inductance is nothing but n square mu naught into a naught divided by l naught so from this l is proportional to n square so here l1 the number of turns are decreasing so it has become n by 2 whole square and similarly l2 another are doubled that means 2 into n whole square now the mutual inductance will be all the mutual inductance will be 
so assume that assume k is tightly coupled system so k is equal to 1 now so m is equal to square root of l1 l2 which is equal to square root of l1 is how much now so n by 2 so n is already first case so l1 that is n square by 2 into 2 n whole square that is nothing but 1 so the answer here is 1 and the units are henry so nothing will change in the mutual inductance if you are in if you are increase at turns of a one coil and decrease the other coil with the same ratio next question here is following graph shows the loss characteristics of a sheet of ferromagnetic material again is varying frequency f pi is the iron losses at frequency f hysteresis and eddy current losses of a sheet at the frequency is 100 hertz so we need to find the eddy current losses and hysteresis losses at how much frequency 100 hertz we need to find here we know that the iron losses by frequency is having history resist losses plus AD current losses into F. Okay, so what is this history resist losses? It's a ratio here. Now I want to find history resist losses at 100 edge frequency is equal to so this coefficient 0 0.01 into how many? frequency frequencies 100 hertz so how much you got here is it's nothing but 1 watt and similarly eddy current losses that is eddy current losses at the rate of 100 hertz is nothing but which is equal to we into f into f so we into f square which is equal to how much w here the slope is given here that is 0 0.001 into f is nothing but 100 whole square so if you solve this we'll get as 10 watts so history is lesser 1 watt a decade lesser 10 watts the option is a is the right one next question is history is losses are present in iron core coil when the current is in the coil is sinusoidal only the current in the coil is alternating the current in unsymmetrical alternation only the current in the coil is dc only so here suppose if you take a piece of iron material in which the grains are not oriented in a particular direction here so they are in random in nature suppose when you are applying the magnetic field Through electromagnets, we say supply here, AC supply only. What will happen here for the positive half cycle of supply? The grains are oriented in particular direction. For negative half cycle, they are oriented in opposite direction. Okay, so this is possible mainly only when we have alternating nature of supply. Alternating nature of supply. So it may be a square wave also there. So the answer for this question is the current in the coil is alternating. Suppose if you have DC means they are oriented in a particular direction and there is no magnetic reversal takes place here. So thank you friends. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe and comment and share. Thank you.